I'm Omar Ora from Just Tutors and in today's video we are going to learn about multiplication and division. So the main subtopics which we are going to cover in this video are multiplication and then we'll talk about pairing of objects from two groups in different ways. So now let's move forward and have a few warm up questions for you. You can please pause the video and try the given questions and once you are done you can please resume the video to check your answers. Well, the answer for the first one will be 33 and for the next one it will be 99. We'll part you back if both of your answers are correct and now let's move forward and let's have a quick discussion about long multiplication. So here we'll be timesing two digit number with a two digit number. So what we are basically doing, going to do here is 54 times 32. So we always start with the ones. So just imagine that 3 is not there, just think of 54 times 2. So you'll do 4 times 2 which is 8 and then you'll times this 2 with the tenth digit which is 5. So 2 times 5 which gives you 10. So that is 108. Now we are going to move forward towards the tens place and that is why we need to have 0 at the placeholder because basically what we are going to do next is we are going to times 54 with a 30 and that's why that's 0 there now the same steps again so what we are going to do here is we'll do 3 times 4 which is 12 so 2 goes there and you put the 1 on the top and the next step is to do 5 times 3 which is 15 add the 1 which gives you 16 and the last and the final step here is to add the numbers together so 8 add 0 is 8 2 add 0 is 2 6 add 1 is 7 and 1 add nothing gives you 1 so the answer is 1728. So now let's move forward and we'll be talking about multiplication of three digit number by a two digit number. So basically the steps are just the same. So this time what we'll do is we'll put my cursor around the digit 3. Just imagine that this is 768 times 2. So 8 times 2 gives you 16 and the 1 goes there at the top. 6 times 2 is 12, add the 1 gives you 13, another 1 goes there at the top. 7 times 2 gives you 14, add the 1 gives you 15 and that's how we got 1536 in the first row. Now what we are going to do next is we are going to times 768 with 3 which is at the tenths place. So what we are doing here again is we are timesing 768 with a 30 and that's why the 0 there, the placeholder. So basically what we'll do here is we'll repeat the same steps. So this time what we'll do is we'll put the cursor or the pointer at the 2. So imagine that the 2 is not there and you're just timesing 768 with a 3. So 8 times 3 is 24, the 4 goes there and the 2 goes there at the top. 6 times 3 is 18 add the 2 gives you 20, the 2 goes at the top, 7 times 3 is 21, add the 2 gives you 23 and that is what your number is. And the last and the final step is to add the numbers together. So that is 6 at 0 which is 6, 3 at 4 is 7, 5 at 0 is 5, 3 at 1 is 4 and 2 at nothing gives you 2. Well, there are a few things which we need to take care when we are working with long multiplication. Um, the first one is that if you are timesing a two-digit number with a two-digit number, always make sure that you put the placeholder at the correct place. With that, we need to make sure that the digits are aligned properly. So now let's move forward towards the next slide and let's talk about pairing of objects from two groups in different ways. So the question says that a triangle has three sides. How many sides do four separate triangles have all together? So what I'll do is I'll make four triangle here as well. So one way to work out the total number of sides in these four triangles is to count the sides. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So that's 12 sides but there is one another way which is a quicker one which is multiplication signs so we know that in one triangle we have three sides and we need to work out that how many sides we have in four triangles 
so basically what we can do is instead of adding 3 4 times like 3 add 3 add 3 add 3 we can basically times 3 with a 4 which makes it 12 so this one is really quicker and easier so imagine that you have a triangle which has three sides and you are going to work out for 12 triangles so you can simply do 12 times 3 let's try one more similar question so you can please pause the video and read the question once and then we'll have a quick discussion about it so each boy has five stickers and each girl has four stickers so how many stickers are there in total if there are five boys and four girls so what we can do here is boys so five groups of five which is basically five times five twenty five and four groups of four which makes sixteen and to work out the total stickers you can just add these two numbers together now let's move forward and have a few practice time questions for you you can please pause the video and try the given questions and once you are done you can please resume the video to check your answers well congratulations if all of your answers are correct and thank you for watching this video for more please visit justutors.com